Hello everyone, this is Jacob, and today we're on my very first episode of my um, talk show. Um, so today we're here with our very special guest, guys. She's the first guest, and it's my friend's mom, um, Miss Melissa Lovely. So here she is, everyone. Hello. So, so we're going to talk about some two topics tonight. Um. So, the first topic we'll talk about is 9-11. 9-11 attacks. I was like four years old. I don't even remember what happened. So, so she's here to tell us where she was when she heard about it. So, where were you? Let's see. When I first heard about the 9-11 attack, I was in my daughter Kelly's room. And I was making up her bed and folding clothes. And I had the radio on. And I thought, um, what is this they're talking about? It didn't make any sense to me because it could, you know, something like that couldn't be real. So I went to the TV and turned it on, and I saw pictures of the plane flying into the tower, and um, and that's when I first realized that that it had was a real terrorist attack on the United States. So, um, were you sad when? Oh yes, very much so. I was I was in shock as much as anything else. I think everybody was in shock. I mean, that something like that could happen on U.S. soil was a disaster. So, did you know anyone that was in the World Trade Center? I didn't. Thank goodness, I didn't have anybody personally that was there that was killed or injured. I know there were a lot of firefighters that were killed, um, trying to rescue others, and I think we learned a lot about ourselves as Americans, and I think we learned. A lot about what to do and what not to do in big situations like that to keep more people safe. Yeah. Um. So. <clears throat> so you know, a lot of people lost family members, relatives, friends. Right. On that day, and I bet when they saw that that happened, when they saw the towers collapse, they were like, "No, my family member, my friend, just died." And I bet they were crying so hard. Oh, sure. Of course they were. I mean, it's just a shock. It's a sudden disaster. So. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, seriously. Don't they have a memorial built there now? Called, don't they call the place Ground Zero? Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. And they don't even have a memorial day for it. And which I think... Um, Obama or whoever is going to be the next president should say, hey, listen, this is America. This is what happened on this date. See, the Pentagon was attacked too. And they need to have a Memorial Day for 9-11. Oh, well. I agree. So 9-11 Memorial Day, September 11th. Celebrate it. If you, and if you um, agree with that, post a comment. And like the video. I agree. And if you dislike it and if you say no, then you're a bad person. So if you're a good person, please post a comment. If you don't have a YouTube account, um, make then one. That's, yeah, make get, one. Get one. <laughs> yeah, get one and post a comment and stop that. Stop me. This is for Will Noah. This is for real, we're making a video, stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's being, okay. Alright, that well, um, caught me off guard. Thanks, so, <laughs> so, we're going to talk about Titanic now. 1912. Mm-hmm. It sunk by an iceberg. And we learned a lot about that night, too. We learned. Yes, we learned a lot. Yes, yeah. definitely. More lifeboats on ships. They have motors. I think because, you know, white folks were stuck into the powers, like, I'm a lieutenant. Those 30 people died because of the powers. They got sucked in. Really, they got sucked in. Well, and I think also a better a better plan of loading those um, those lifeboats, because remember, there were some of the lifeboats, a lot of them were, were empty or half full. Mm -hmm. On the Titanic, that, yeah. yeah, off the Titanic. So I think that they learned a lot about how to 
do that rescue so it was organized so that mm -hmm. every every seat was filled and so the more people could be saved yeah mm -hmm. but I don't know why they did that but in the movie and at the very end they show the person like in the lifeboat like putting the passengers onto another lifeboat and then looking for people but they don't find very much except their girl named Rose. That's it. That's the only person that's alive. See, if you watch that movie, it's very sad at the end. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. And you can only imagine what it was really like there to be in that real situation. I'm sure it mm -hmm. was much more horrible than the movie. Yeah, I bet it was. Mm. I mean, so. just, yeah, people, families being torn apart mm -hmm. and some people being, you know, in the lifeboat and the other ones were going down with the ship and everybody screaming and... Yeah, I think what they really should have done is, like, put the men, women, and children on the lifeboats. I mean, so... Families, because some families can stay together. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of losing, you know, the dad. Yeah. Because more, I bet more dads were died on that night. Now they just tore apart their family. And on the Lusitania, they had enough lifeboats, but they were torpedoed, and it took an 18 minutes. Mm. Wow. 18 minutes. So what torpedo sunk that? You know what? I don't even know what U-boat did that. And that's one of the main reasons the United States entered the war. Of WW1. Yeah, so, one. That's yeah. When, that's when that happened? Yeah. So, the Olympic Titanic's um, other sister ship um, was, um, you know, it's spy, like, seriously. So, they retired it in, 19, in the 1940s. So, how do you know all this? Because you can look on the website, like, you can look online, like, when did, uh, when, when the, the, um, RMS Olympic retire, it'll tell you. Oh, okay, so you found that most of it on the internet? Yep. Pretty good. So. Yep. And, I guess that can, um, do you want to talk about more topics or, like, um, are you finished? Yeah. Well, I think that the most important thing about the two events was that, I mean, the main thing is that a lot was learned, right? Yeah. You know, there was a catastrophe, all of these bad things happened that we never thought would happen, right? We mm -hmm. didn't never thought the Titanic would have sunk. We never thought 9-11 would have happened. And I think that as Americans and as a nation, you know, we learned that we need to be better prepared, Yeah. right, from those things. So... I think that's good. You know, both both we covered both big events. Yeah. Maybe we could. Uh, it might be a good idea to research maybe one person who survived the Titanic and kind of what their story was like. That might be kind of cool. Or one person that survived 9/11 and. Mm -hmm. Mom. Exactly, and got out. May I please have some syrup? Can I have an ice cream? Can I have an ice cream? <laughs> Ice. You already had an ice cream. Ice cream sandwich. Oh, so that concludes our um, first guess. And if we have one, I guess it might be my sister, you know. So, bye. Um, guess I'll probably talk to y'all later, you know, on my next episode. And we might have a little, um, I might have a little video series called Jeopardy and Jeopardy Jr. So. Talk about important topics like Titanic, maybe 9 11. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so bye everyone, and I'll see you later. Have a good